What the hell did you do again? I robbed Circle K. Right there? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what were you thinking? I wasn't. You don't have to like worry about getting raped or none of that stuff. No. Okay. I'm right, just all, making sure. That's all bogus stuff. Like, like right now, I'm still institutionalized. I still eat ramen noodles, chips, and stuff like that, you know. I had, I had weed in my system. I'm like, that's considered a drug? <laughs> have you gotten away with any burglaries? No. I did time for all of them. Okay. All right, boys. Buckle up, baby. This is so ghetto. I got this microphone right here. All right, so we're picking up a homeless dude today. I know. We're going to interview him. There he is. He's about to get in the car. His name's Richard. He looks pretty young. And we'll see how let's have some fun. What's up, big brother? Richard, my boy. Come on down. How you feeling today? Feeling good. Yeah? No, ready Look to go to you. work this morning, man. Yeah? You know, I got my new uniform. Look at shirt. you. <laughs> You're a new man. Yeah. All right, man. So I'm going to take us somewhere peaceful. All right. And uh, we'll uh, start cooking. So how you feel being out of the... How, wait, how long did you say you went to uh, prison for? About 18 months. 18 months. How, what the hell did you do again? I robbed Circle K. Right there? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what were you thinking? I wasn't. Oh, God. I wasn't myself, man. That, yeah. I wasn't. You know, when, you, when you're on them drugs, they take over your mind. We'll start with this real fast. What, what kind of, if you don't mind telling the people, what kind of drugs are we talking about here? Like what, what heroin, heroin, and crack. Fentanyl, heroin, and crack. Yeah. The trio. Yeah. That'll do it. Yeah, that'll you know, do it. It'll, it'll change your mind, you change your ways. It, it's nothing to be, nothing to play with. All right, so Richard, how old are you, brother? I'm 41. 41. All right, cool. Yeah. I'm not too far behind you. I'm 34. So. Yeah. Um, so 41. Where Where are you originally from? Okeechobee. Florida. Okeechobee, Florida. Oh shit. Okay, so you're a country boy. Yeah. Florida oh, boy. Hot nail. <laughs> Okay, so let me ask you a question. So, so how long you been homeless, and, and how how does one end up homeless? If you don't mind me asking. Well, you get homeless by choice. I I've said that before, and a lot of people agreed with me. Yeah. Okay. And like I was homeless. I'm gonna say about seven years. Seven years. Yeah. So how I'm not homeless now? Oh, you got a place to live now. Yeah. Oh. You got a place to live now. You know Hot what I'm damn. Yep. Good for you, man. But before you went to the joint, were you on the streets? Yeah. Okay. I was on the streets. That's what led me to, you know what I'm saying, do do those evil things, you know, because nobody wants to hire a homeless man. No, they don't. Okay, so how old were you when you first went homeless? I was like 33. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, 33. All right, so this has been... This has been a seven-year journey for you here. Pretty much. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay, so how did that happen? Like, were you living on your own? Were you... I got kicked out, lost my job. So I got to the point where, you know, I was basically had a pan. You know what I'm saying? So, being that I couldn't, I, you know, I didn't have, I didn't make enough for apartment or anything like that. I said, heck with it, I was going to do, do drugs. You know what I'm saying? The dope boys were around and shit. Did you do drugs before you went homeless? Or no. was it, like no weed, nothing? I did a little bit of weed here and there, but Were you a big were you a big drinker at all? No. No. Okay. So like did you were your parents around? No. My fam my family weren't open they're still in Okeechobee. Okay. Okeechobee oh. County. Okay, so alright, so let's back it up. When you were younger um, let's start from the beginning. So you grew up in Okeechobee. Did you graduate high school and all that? No. I, I quit when I was 11th grade in Fort Pierce. I moved, I, we moved to Fort Pierce when, when I was five. Okay. Then I lived, I went to school there in Fort Pierce. And uh, grew up pretty much in Fort Pierce. And then um, later on, I kind of get got kicked out. Actually, I kicked myself out. Kicked myself you, out of the house. You kicked yourself out. Yeah, and I couldn't handle the stress, you know, because my mom, she's an alcoholic. She's the kind of alcoholic that turns into a different person? Yeah. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so keep She's going. a vicious fighter type deal when she drinks. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so I had to leave that, so... And how old were you when you left the first time? 18. Oh, so you were like 18, I'm out. Yeah. Okay, the classic. Yeah. All right, so lead me on from there. So what happened? What were you doing for work? 
How did you find a place to live? Like, give us the scoop here. Give us the skinny. Well, I moved. I, I went to Job Corps when I was 18 years old. What's Job Corps? Job Corps is a vocational, educational career place. Okay. And okay. they help you out with getting, you know, your diploma, your trades. All right, all right. So it's like kind of like a GED type deal. Yeah. Kind of, okay, all right. Or a high school diploma. Oh, but okay. I went and graduated culinary arts, the first course of culinary arts. I oh, became, really? I, I became certified as a painter chef. Oh, wow. Yeah. I tried to make a career out of it, but things didn't work out because I didn't have my education. So I was like, damn it. So I went to Texas for like a couple of years because I had somebody that was going to help me out and stuff like that. Things didn't work out over there, so I came back to Florida. And that's when I started, you know, doing with the drugs. How and old stuff were like you, that. you think, when this happened? About 30. About 30? So you lived yeah. in Texas all the way till you're 30, yeah. basically. Yeah. Okay. I and then you. I came back. And then got involved with drugs, got involved with, you know, panhandling and stuff like that. And then when I was... And we, did you have a place to live at this point? No. You were on the streets at 30? Yeah. Okay, so it's been... Okay, so what... W okay, I'm trying to figure this out. So what was the moment where you were like, shit, I'm living on the streets? How old were you? Can you remember that? 30. 30? Yeah. But I mean, I had I had places to live every now and then, like these people would charge me twenty dollars a day just to stay there. Well, that's pretty. But good I deal. wasn't I wasn't homeless homeless, but I but I was at the same time because I couldn't always afford that and my habits. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So there were days where I was on the streets, but then when I really physically became homeless, homeless was when I was thirty three. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right. So let me ask you a question: How does somebody who's never done hard drugs? end up doing something like crack or heroin like you get introduced to it people you're just hanging around not only that but like dope boys on the streets like when I was at the gas station people pull up yo man you party mm. I'm like hell yeah I party what, what kind of party are you talking about though <laughs> of course I party you know I'm man? robbing the Circle K later yeah right not to, <laughs> not to keep joking about that yeah Heck, and I, I've been charged with uh, six counts of burglaries of structures before that, too. Okay, so why don't we go through this? What was the first time, what was the first, like, crime you committed? I'll go first. My first time, I stole from J.C. Penney's was when I was 17. I got arrested, went to the juvenile assessment center on my girlfriend's birthday. I was stealing for her, for her birthday. Damn. And I thought she was going to break up with me, but it turns out girls love the bad boy. And she was like, you would steal for me? And I was like, Jesus Christ. And the second time, I ended up getting a felony for selling a lot of weed. So I've been through the ringer. Yeah. Just to like tell you, I kind of understand. And then also, for three months, I slept in the back seat of this car seven years ago. Wow. So I kind of, I, I understand how something could get pulled out. Um, luckily, I bounced back. I'm fine. Yeah. Um, so anyways, let's... Let's start with this. When was the first time you got in trouble with the law, and what did you do? Well, my first time I ever got in trouble with the law was when I was 18 years old. Uh, they charged me with burglary of a dwelling. Um, of a dwelling? Was like a house? Yeah. Okay. Of a dwelling is a house. They got structures, which is a, basically a building. Okay. Conveyance is a, ve a vehicle. Okay. All right. When um, I was... Having a learning was, lesson today. What was I, 21? <laughs> yeah, I was 21 years old when I first got arrested, and that was for six counts of worthless checks, fraud and sufficient funds, uh, cannabis, which I went to probation office with with the weed. <laughs> and then uh, I wasn't thinking I was going to get arrested that day, you know what I'm saying? I get it. Otherwise, I would just give it to mom and said, here, give this to dad, you know what I'm saying, because he smokes oh, weed. Keep it in the family. Yeah, keep it in the family type shit. <laughs> okay, so your first arrest, you had a pretty heavy charge. No, or I mean, you had a that lot. Was of, a, that was it. Was a lot of them, but it was a minor one compared to the second time. Okay, so on your first offense, did you end up doing any time? Yeah, well, I did or was eighteen it just months. Your first go? Yeah. Holy shit! Well, I was put on probation first. Okay, so what I, happened I, with I that? I did two months later because they had, I had weed in my system. I'm like, that's considered a drug. <laughs> I'm like, at least I'm not doing crack, coke, heroin, or fentanyl. You get arrested, so when you first go to prison, 
let me ask you a question. Is it really like, when you go to prison, is it really like, you know, whites versus blacks and, you know, Sp- no. Spanish? As long no. As, like me, I did my time. I, I, I know how to do my time. You know what I'm saying? If you go in there and you get into everybody's business, yeah, you're going to have problems. You know so you didn't saying? have to, like, pick a side? No. I was on everybody's side. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I was the laundryman, you know. I, I, I worked at food service, so I brought food home. You didn't have everybody. to, like, worry about getting raped or none of that stuff? No. Okay. All right, just all, making sure. That's all bogus stuff, you know. A lot of people, like in movies, you see a lot of people get raped. and Man, it's all about how you do your time. Okay. You know how to do time, and, you, you know... I'm, I mean, I'm only like doing I'm time only do, hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're into that, some people are into that. You know, gay is good. You know, in today's day and age. Yeah. Um, that's a joke. But anyway, <laughs> um, well, because I, I the most time I ever did was a day, a day and a half. So I don't know how the system works like that. You know, I only know from the court side because I was able to get out and have a lawyer and all that shit. Yeah. All right. So anyway, so you do 18 months. Did you, do you think that had a major effect on you afterwards? Yeah. Okay. So I mean, in many ways, like, like right now, I'm still institutionalized. I still eat ramen noodles, chips, and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, so, <laughs> so you're very... Because I always wonder about that. How much longer after that did you end up getting in trouble again? Well, I want to say about 11 years later. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a good time. A lot of people end up going back within six months. You know what I'm saying? Like my third time. It took, well, my second time, I, w- I went back for burglary of a dwelling, no, burglary of a structure and burglary of a conveyance. The conveyance is a car? Yeah. Okay. I ended up still taking some stuff from a truck. Dude had left his wallet in there and had a bunch of credit cards and stuff like that, so I used the credit cards yeah. to get cigarettes and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, the essentials. Yeah. Yeah. So they ended up getting me with grand theft, two grand thefts, you know, one from the house because I went and took the dude's weed eater. So then, uh, oh, got you charged do some with, lawn work or something? Yeah, they were, I was telling the cop. I was like, <laughs> oh, oh, my, my way to work. Oh what are you talking God. about? <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> <laughs> At three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's fucked up. Yep. Yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah, some lady called mm-hmm. and said, oh, there's a dude running with somebody's weed eater. I'm like, this is my weed eater. I'm running to work. All right. All right. So during this whole time this is happening, are you using yeah, like crack, heroin, heroin stuff like and that? Crack. Yes. Okay. All right. So how old are you around this time we're talking about? Just so I can keep a timeline going here. It's like 25, 30, some shit like that. 25, 26 years old when I went back the second time. Okay. So no. 30. Because I was 21 when I first left, you know, when I first went to prison. And then when I, my second time, I was like 30. And then 33, that's when I got charged with the six counts of burglaries of structures, which is basically Wendy's, Arby's, Cumberland Farms. I busted the window over there. The uh, one on uh, military. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. To paint you guys a picture, he hangs out around all of these places he just said. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what, how does that happen? Like, are you just high out of your mind? Or, high out of or, my mind. Okay. <laughs> okay. Have you gotten away with any burglaries? No. I did time for all of them. Okay. Okay. Six, that's, why I, that's why I said six counts of burglaries of structures and four grand thefts. Okay. And then they ended up getting me uh, four and a half years for that. Okay. So it's safe to say I'm good. Should probably go for a different line of work. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's why I'm at a car wash now, so I ain't got to worry about, you know, no more. I mean, do drama. you get do you get tempted though when you're washing no. these people's well, cars? Hell no. Okay, good. All right, all right. All right. So back to that. <laughs> so <clears throat> so you rob Okay, so what are all these places you robbed again? Cumberland Farms, Circle K, KFC, Arby's, and Wendy's. And, uh... Did you come up on money? They actually have money in there? Yeah. Like, in the register? Like, 36 cartons of Newports, 40 cartons of Marlboros, and, like, 360-something dollars in cash at the two drawers. Where the hell are you storing all this stuff? You got bags? I had garbage bags. Like, eight of them. Okay. <laughs> Stuffed them all up. 
Okay, so how? So what happened? Did you get busted like immediately? No, I got, I got away with every one of them except six days later. Well, two months later, they finally caught me. They said, "Where'd you get the shoes?" <laughs> I run around in the suspect's shoes. I told him, I said, oh, "I don't know. I got, I got these from the dumpster, you know. And I find brand new clothes, t-shirts, hoodies, jerseys, a duffel bag, some uh, Nike shoes, uh, Air Jordan shoes." Timberland boots, and those were all the suspect's shoes. So they they broke it down and said, oh, that, that was you the whole time. <laughs> Damn, so you actually would have got away with it. If I didn't wear those shoes, yes, I would And then also you were still hanging out in that same area, too. Yeah. Probably not the you know, <laughs> smartest thing. Probably not. No, it's probably not. Okay, so anyways. All right, so how, long, how much time did you do for that? Four and a half years. Oh, yeah, speaking of shoes, I don't know what size you are, but... Yeah. Nice. Hey, you can take those. So, what's the difference between doing like an 18 month stint? Actually, the 18 month sentence took like seemed like it took forever because they didn't, I didn't, I didn't work out the gate. When I was four and a half years, time flew. Really? I was working out the gate. I was working on the city, the city squad. Ah, oh, okay. So you're like that. You were out and about doing like. Yeah. Were they taking you out doing like? Uh, like slave type work where yeah. you're out like on the side of the road with the with the I've been with working the, uh, on axiom. the railroad <laughs> day, 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 day. I don't know why I'm at paddle on a boat right now but, <laughs> um, okay <laughs> so so the four year stint that felt easier than 18 months now. yeah because my last bid I only did 18 months and I got out November 5th Okay, so when you're in a place like this, are you in an individual cell? Do you have a bunkie, or is it like an open... Open bay. Okay, so open so bay, there's like, just like bunk beds everywhere? Yeah, bunk beds. Some, I, I slept in a single bunk, but you got double bunks on the on the edge of the wall. You know, they got like 60 bunks. In so there, like in no privacy place. at all at any time? No privacy at all. Ever? And you're on, on the camera constantly. How many people in, in when, they're, when you're in the joint, how many people are in there for something... Um, I don't want to say it's stupid, but you got murder, you got uh, everything in there. Everything. Yep. How many people you think were like something that you did, where it's like about twenty robbing a gas station. Twenty. There was okay. about twenty out of sixty that were in there for the same charges I did, and they ended up with like five years or something. I'm like, damn, I got blessed. <laughs> now let me ask you a question. This is something I noticed when I was going through my felony stuff, which I did get it off my record. It took years. When yeah. I was going through my felony stuff, there was, I noticed that there was other people with the same exact charge with three times the punishment. Wow. And usually they were always black or Mexican. Damn. Do you, but would you, do you think since you've been in the joint as a white guy, do you think, if you can remember at all, do you think that might be pretty common? Where, like, somebody who's not white gets a much longer sentence? Or, like, a worse punishment? Not really. I mean, if you go, like, when I was in a uh, gun club, they took they shipped me to Belgley. Okay. Which, basically, they have programs for drugs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they also put you on some boxings. To recover from yeah, suboxone is like a suboxone is like a, a blocker. Yeah, like a drug blocker. Yeah, right? okay, it is. And you know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. I, instead, I was on a medication because I really needed it. You know what I'm saying? Because I was I was craving. You were hooked. Yeah, I was. Hooked. You were robbing Circle K's. Yeah. You were you were you you and were breaking into hustle there. That's the messed up part about it. <laughs> you so were shitting like, where you slept. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like I sleep right here. Okay, so when you're homeless, let me ask you a question here. All right. So when you're homeless, were you legitimately, like, sleeping out, like, you know, because a lot of homeless people here will go tuck off because we have a lot of woodsy areas. Yeah. Do you go back in the woods? Do you sleep, like, find a spot behind a building? Like, when I, I would sleep on the cardboard boxes, right? There's this empty parking spot right behind KFC. Mm-hmm. Is that, it's also got a dumpster right there. Yeah. You'll see it's in like a little fence. Yeah. Um, I get the cardboard boxes from there. Yeah. Because they, they were fresh. Yeah. And I would park them right there in their little parking spot. Uh-huh. And I would just li literally sleep with the blanket. I had a blanket and everything. Just like that? Just like that. 
out in the open. Didn't give a damn who came and robbed or anything like that. Just fuck I it. Was, I was a man of myself, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, I, I basically could hold, hold my own if somebody was to try, try to come rob me or something. All right, so let me ask you, like, a day-to-day being homeless, what's, like, what's, like, your, your kind of, I don't want to say your schedule, that kind of sounds stupid, but, like, how does that work? What, what's your, like, main goal besides getting drugs? Like, are you panhandling on, like, a corner, or are you more trying to hang out at a gas station? Like, I was trying to hang out at the gas station. Okay. That was, you know, to me, it was safe. It was safe because I was always on camera. And there's usually always a, a overhang, too, so you got shade. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, in case it rains, you ain't got to worry about it getting rained on or, you know. Yeah, because I've, I've, cause we've talked over the I've seen you years ago, and I know you still, you're always at the one spot. Now, do you, I, I noticed you would, like, walk around and pick up trash and shit. Do you, like, kind of work out a deal with these people? Yeah. Like, you kind of talk to the gas station? Yeah, I, I used to talk with a manager and tell him, or ask him if he needs some help clean, clean the parking lot up. And just He's to like, let yeah, you kind of hang out. You, you go ahead and you do that, and I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll hook you up when you're done. So then, while I am while I was picking up trash, there would be people at the pumps, and I would be asking them, hey, man, I can clean your windows for a dollar or two to help for a place to sleep tonight. Yeah, so, so let sometime. me ask you a question. If you're at the gas station, let's just say you're there five hours. And you're asking basically everybody who comes up, or as many people as you can, what's like your average day you think you would make? Um, just like kind of at ballpark average. About forty, fifty dollars. Forty, fifty bucks? Yeah. That's not too bad. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. There's a lot of good people in this world, man. There really is. There is. I'm one of them. Yeah. I mean, you are. at least I like the. I, don't get me wrong. I fucked up many times. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Yeah. But I have, I have tried. Yeah. I've tried. I do. You do. I really You're do. Good. You're a good dude. I try. Me um, too. I try too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> because I try too. <laughs> okay. All right. So now that... So how long you said you've been sober now? About 20 months. 21 months this month. Wow. Congratulations, man. That's Thank not you, easy. Brother. Especially um, since you said you now have a place to rent. You're, yeah. you're sleeping somewhere. Yep. Got a roof over my head. So, shower every day. So how much is that running you a month, if you don't mind me asking? 500 a month. That's a good deal. Yeah, it is. Good well, people. Wow. That's so a really pay, good they pay deal. They like, pay uh, like 2400 That's a really good deal. Yeah, it is. 500 Yeah. Damn. I mean, is it like a pretty good place? You like have it's your own room? Place. and yeah. like, Wow, really? Yeah. All right, so what's... We'll start winding this down now. Um... So what's like your plan now that you're that you're sober? You you got your job at the car wash, thank the Lord. Amen. Um, yeah, this is the reason why I'm off today. Yeah, cause it's, ra- <laughs> it's raining. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny because we tried doing this two days in a row, and then we just we couldn't meet up, and then you called me. I didn't even sh- I didn't even get ready. I just went. And I'm like putting my hair back. I'm like <laughs> I'm like I gotta get this guy because I don't know when he's gonna ever show up. Yeah. Um. And plus, I've known you now at least from like three years back when I saw you the other day. Yeah. I remembered who you were. I remembered. Yeah, me um, too. Because I don't, I don't, yeah, I know you remember. <laughs> you were like, oh, that's that really nice guy who's always uh, helping me out. Um, yeah. I don't mean it like that. But no. uh, not, I can imagine you get some people who aren't too friendly. But there's, I'm, I know there's a lot of yeah. really cool people out there. And you're not like... This is something I want to say. I don't just go around helping all these homeless people. I don't want to seem like I do that. No. It's really only a few of them. Like, yeah. when I talk to you, I'm like, oh, that guy, like, it's like he, he, he doesn't have to be homeless right now. Like, talks fine. He's yeah. maneuvering fine. You know, I don't think I've ever caught you when you were strung out. Like, no. every time I've ever talked to you, it's like, oh, dude seems like so like a regular dude. Yeah. You know, so... <laughs> So that's the only real time I help people people out. Where yeah. like I'll give them a hundred bucks, or I'll like, you know, here's uh two shirts, a pair of pants, and some socks. You can take that with you. Those nice. will fit you. Those will fit you. Thank you. We're both skinny guys. You'll be those will fit you good. Some socks that's in there, up, pants, man. long sleeve, and a short sleeve. God bless you for that, man. Um, and then I'll also give you some money for this interview. Um, and, uh, sometimes people donate to the channel, so if you guys feel like donating, you don't have to, alright, he gonna, he gonna find a way, he got a job now, 
But um, I'll make a deal with you. I'm going to give you some money today. And then whatever this video generates um, over, let's just say over a week, I'll break you off half. Okay. So I don't know how much that's going to be. All right. It could be 100 bucks, could be 500 could be 1000 uh -huh. But I'll give you half of whatever this video generates. Okay. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Last question, and we're going to cruise on out of here. What's your, like, game plan? My do you, game do you plan? have a game plan now that you're, like, clear-minded? Yeah. You're not robbing Wendy's anymore? You're just eating there? Like, do you have a game plan on kind <laughs> of... Hey, that's, that's stupid. Do you have a game plan on, like... What like, I'm going to do in my future? Just like, yeah, just a, a yes. just a, a, a near, a, you know, in the next year or so, what's kind of a goal you'd like to accomplish? Well, for one, I'm going to take one day at a time. That's smart. That's compared to what I used to do, you know. Um, right now, I'm looking at, you know, I go to work. You know, I got a job now. I'm looking forward to getting maybe a ride, maybe a, maybe a scooter or something, maybe... Oh, like a little, like, a little Vespa cheap type car. thing? Yeah. yeah. I might even get a car or something, you know? Something that's good, good on gas, something like this one. But Oh, um, oh this car is amazing. I have yeah, I told you, I lived in here gas, for three, huh? three months. Yeah. It's pretty spacious, too. Yeah, no, this yeah. car I've had seven years, 200 plus thousand miles. I mean, this thing is old reliable. Yeah. I'm telling you. This may as well be a Honda Civic. Yeah. This thing is boss. And I might be end up being a manager. You know, right now, the boss man is talking about if he likes the way I work. Which I proved to him Friday. No, Saturday I started. Mm -hmm. And um, he told me, he was like, uh, if I like the way you work, I can gradually move you up to basically a shampooer. Which, which, that's where all the tips are at. Oh, okay. So right now you're not making tips, you're just making hourly. Yeah, making hourly. Mm. <clears throat> so if you so, get your ass up to those tips. Yep. Oh. I'll be straight. But, you know... And uh, may, maybe get a place of my own. That'll be that's that'd be awesome. basically my uh, long term goal. Well, that's awesome, man. Well, you know what we're gonna do? You got my number. All yep. right, let's go cruise out. Uh, I don't know if you're hungry, but if you want, we we'll go get some food. Um, but let's do this. Why don't in six months from today? I'm sure I'll see you around before then. But yeah, in six months from today, it's February, early February. Let's say. March, April, May, June, July, August. Sometime around July or August, we're going to link back up and we're going to do a progress report. Oh, we'll hell see yeah. where you're at. And then we'll do the same deal. We, same could do, we could do another little thing and whatever the video generates, I can bust you off some money. Sound like a plan. Because I don't mind helping people out. And, you know, when I saw you the other day, you know, I was like, I could just give the guy some money right now. But I was like, you know what? Let me see if he'll come and... and tell his story and work for it a little bit. Sounds you know? like a plan. Because, you know, because I'm all about that. Like, I don't mind helping people out, but sometimes I'm like, you know what? You want to come make some money? Come make some fucking money. And you did it. Yep. I appreciate you telling your story, man. It's not easy. No. Um, if you stick with it, nope. if you want it, you can get it. You know what? I, I say we go rob the breakfast place. No. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I am starving. We, if you're down, I'm going to go get some food. We like to get deep, but we like to have fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes you can't take life too serious. Yeah, you know, sometimes right. you gotta metaphorically rob a Circle K once in a while. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs>